Greetings brothers and sisters, I come to you in the wonderful name of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ of Nazareth. It is Wednesday the 15th of February and the time is 10 minutes to 3 p.m. We are on the 24th day of Shabbat, the, the year 5783 of the creation and we uh, Shabbat is the 11th month. Brothers and sisters, it's good to be back on the channel and to speak the word of God as the as the Lord ministered to me uh, through my time of 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 what can you call it uh, a morning um, he reminded I was reminded that it's not about me it's not about my feelings it's not about our or our emotions it is about the body of Christ and leading those souls away from hell and towards the eternal life of heaven leading them away from intern internal damnation and leading them to heaven brothers and sisters this teaching is about this earthquake that that we've seen it's i can't say it's none like before but it is very relevant today matthew 24 verse 7 says for nation this is what we are seeing about biblical prophecies being unfolded for nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines, pestilences, and earthquakes in diverse places. Brothers and sisters, you, there's been there's earthquakes all the time around the world. But what makes this, this earthquake profound is because it happened in Turkey, Syria, and Romania. You're not seeing much about the Romanian earthquake, but it happened about, did I see now, six, a few days ago. And um, I never knew about this Romanian earthquake. I had to actually just confirm that it did happen, but it did happen. So they are all neighboring countries around the sea. Is it the Caspian Sea? I saw that. Um, and what the Lord is telling me or showing me is the book of Revelation. I'm going to read, uh, I can't read the entire chapter, but I'm going to summarize. I'm going to read the, the, the verses. Revelation 1, verse 4. John to the seven churches which are in Asia. Now, Turkey is Galatia, which is in the Bibles referred to as Asia Minor, where Asia meets um, the Western world. Um, John to the seven churches which are in Asia. Grace be unto you and peace from him which is and which was and which is to come and from the seven spirits which are before his throne the spirit of wisdom understand spirit of the lord uh, wisdom understanding counsel knowledge might and the fear of the lord the seven spirits of god you find it in revelation 4 uh, verse 5 i think it is and from Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness and the first begotten of the dead and the prince of the kings of the earth unto him that loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood and hath made us kings and priests unto God and his father to him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. The revelation uh, verse 11 saying, I am Alpha and Omega, the first and the last, and was thou seest, write in a book, and send it unto the seven churches which are in Asia, unto Ephesus, Smyrna, Pergamos, Thyatira, Sardis, Philadelphia, and Laodicea. And I turned to see the voice that spake with me, and being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks. Brothers and sisters, I'm just going to read the modern names of these churches that the lord has spoken about right what what he's saying here is um i'm going to read the names i'm going to start off so it's ephesus is still named ephesus i've been there years ago about 20 years ago in turkey and unto smyrna which is izmir pergamos bergama thyatira akisa and sardis sought and unto philadelphia Al-Sahir and unto Laodicea the de, Denizli. Now, brothers and sisters, where this say, the churches are situated or named in the in the book of Revelation, that is where the 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 area where this earthquake occurred. 
and um, that's also the area where the river Euphrates originates or start it's a huge area but uh, they call it northeast or I, 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 I'm not quite sure what, which but it's all in the same vicinity and the Lord opened this book to me brothers and sisters before I go explaining let me get the verses out of the way while we have time uh, Revelation chapter 2 verse 10 Fear, fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall come, shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. I don't know how long it's been since this earthquake. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. He that overcometh shall not be hurt of the second death. I miss this one. The second death. Day 235 of my uh, journal. And to the angel in church, and to the angel of the church in Pergamos, write these things, saith he which hath the sharp, sharp sword with two edges. I know thy works and where thou dwellest, even where Satan's seat is. And thou holdest fast my name, and hast not denied my faith, even in those days where Antipas was my faithful martyr, who was slain among you, where Satan dwelleth. But I have a few things against thee, because thou hast there them that hold the doctrine of Balaam, who taught Balak to cast a stumbling block, before the children of Israel to eat things sacrificed unto idols and to commit fornication. So as thou also them that hold the doctrines of the Nicolaitans, which things I which thing I hate, <clears throat> repent, or else I will come unto thee quickly, and I will fight against them with the sword of thy mouth. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. Hallelujah. To him that overcometh which I give to eat the hidden manna, and I will give him a white stone, and in the stone a new name written, which no man knows, saving ye that receive it. That is the end. The also, I, there's a verse, uh, verse chapter, uh, Revelation 3, verse 9, but I'm running out of time here. But I want to end off with um, the river Euphrates. <clears throat> Revelation 9, verse 6 saying to the sixth angel which had the trumpet, Loose the four angels which are bound in the great river Euphrates, and the four angels were loosed, which were prepared for an hour, a day, and a month, and a year, for to slay the third part of men. And the number of the army of the horsemen were two hundred thousand thousand, and I heard the number of them, that is two hundred million strong. Brothers and sisters, why I'm reading this is because to highlight the churches and that area, Galatia, Turkey, known today, and also um, the river Euphrates. And what correlation is there between this a great earthquake? It was a great earthquake because the numbers are staggering now, hitting 40,000 people have died. And it's like the foundations have been shaken. That's in uh, Psalm, uh, is it? Psalm 38, I, I forgot actually to write that, um, the, that verse down, but the foundation shall be shaken, and the earthquakes were shaken, the ground, the foundation of, of Turkey has been shaken. I don't know if these angels have been, that are bound, have been loosed with us underneath the great river of river Euphrates, but I know that the Bible's true and what it's saying here is pointing to this day. Brothers and sisters, the, uh, also the, um, <coughs> that the earthquake, there was many earthquakes. There's one in, uh, 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 two in, in Romania. That was days very different, but it's all in this region of Revelation 1. The seven churches of Asia Minor and God is pointing a spotlight on that area and the and heaven the the sin is be, the mankind sin is being judged and lord our lord is coming you can see it it is prevalent today i'm going to continue with this teaching in the next uh, uh in the next video amen